Number 34, determine the following to four significant figures, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to find out the percent composition of hydrozoic acid, which is H and three. Okay, so we want to find out the percent composition. Percents are always part divided by whole. In chemistry, we just add a little bit more. It's this formula. So you could find a percent composition from anything. Grams, moles, molar masses, AMUs. So just know that if you're trying to find a percent composition for some element or a part of a compound, all you have to do is take the amount of that element or the part of the compound, aka part, and divide it by the total amount, aka the whole. And then, you know, times by 100. Now, in this case, they just say find the percent composition. So in this case, they actually want you to find both answers for hydrogen and nitrogen. So we're going to do it based off of the molar masses on the periodic table, since they didn't give us any other numbers. So let's go for it. We have HN3. Write out all the elements that you have. In this case, I only see two. I see I have a hydrogen and I have a nitrogen. So I have hydrogen and I have a nitrogen. Now write down how many of each element you have in your compound. For hydrogen, I don't see a number here, right? So there's a secret one. There's one hydrogen, and then I see this three. This belongs to the nitrogen. So I have one hydrogen and three nitrogens. What you're going to do is you're going to take those numbers and multiply them by the molar masses on the periodic table. So get out your periodic tables and let's see if your molar masses match mine. They don't have to match exactly. You can, you can round them if you want. Um, I'm just going to get the exact values that I see on mine. So let's see. So for mine, each hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. That's the unit that I'm going to be using for molar mass. And then nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole. So all we have to do now is multiply 1 times 1.008 and 3 times 14.01. So 1 times 1.008 is 1.008. That was easy. And that's grams per mole of the total hydrogen. And then for nitrogen, I do 3 times 14.01. So 3 times 14.01, I get 42.03, and that's the gram per mole of the nitrogen. Now, in order to get the total amount, we have to find the total molar mass, a.k.a. we add the two numbers up. So 42.03 plus 1.008, I get 43.03. 0, 0.38, and that's the grams per mole of the entire compound, aka HN3. Oh, what the? It's just, it's just muscle memory that every time I write an N, N, you know, NH3 comes together, but this is HN3. Okay. And just keep in mind that this is the total. Okay. So, we got to find the percent comp for both elements. So let's start with the first one. Percent hydrogen equals the amount of that element, so the amount of hydrogen, over the total amount times 100. Well, here was the total amount for hydrogen, right? So in this case, it would be 1.008 divided by the total amount, which is 43.038. And then I times that by 100. And I do the same thing for the nitrogen. Percent nitrogen is its total amount. So in this case, it's the 42.03. 42.03 divided by the entire amount, which is 43.038. And I just multiply by 100. Now, when I'm doing my math, I don't like to put in units because I know that they're the right ones. Adding units when you're trying to do the math, it just gets a little crazy and hectic. So I just like to stick with the numbers. Okay, so let's find out what the percent hydrogen is. 1.008 divided by 
43.038. We need to round this to four sig figs, right? It says we need it to four significant figures. So it's going to be a very low number. 0 0.02342. And I might actually have to, you know what, I'm going to squeeze it on the bottom here. 0 0.02342. So not even 1% is of hydrogen in this compound. For nitrogen, let's see. 42.03 divided by 43.038 times 100. Ooh, hold on. I forgot to times 100 by the last one. Silly Christina. There we go. Okay, now that makes a little bit more sense. That was without the multiplying by 100. Here, it's now 2.342. Okay. Then for nitrogen, 42.03 divided by 43.038 times 100. Four sig figs, 97, and maybe I will bring it down a little bit as well, 97.66. And there you go. Yep, that makes about sense. 2.342 plus 97.66. Yep, you get roughly 100% when you add those two up. So there you go. So this is the answer for the percent of hydrogen. It's only about 2% of the whole compound. Nitrogen is way more, 97.66%. Crazy. All right. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And subscribe to the channel if you like to. Um, if you want to help us out, tell your friends. Tell your friends that this service exists. Uh, it's free, right? And it's I think it's pretty cool help. We have physics and math as well, so if you want to check those out, we can help you with those as well. Good luck in your studies, guys. Happy studying. Bye-bye.